Hello and welcome to Australia in Space TV. My name is Chris Cubbage. I'm the editor with My Security Media and publishers of the Australia in Space magazine. Joined by Peter Nikoloff, Acting Executive Director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation in Adelaide. Uh, Peter, thanks for joining us. No, my, my pleasure. Uh, Peter, we're proud media partners with the Australian Space Forum and that's come approaching very, very quickly December 6 uh, at the ICC in Sydney, the first Space Forum outside of South Australia. So it is quite a big uh, event for you. Uh, and now it's turned into Australia Space Week. So we're not just talking about a one-day uh, forum, we're talking about a week of events. So uh, we might hand over to you, maybe brief us on where you're at with just a, a few weeks to go. Yeah, so no, we're very excited. We've got some great um, keynotes and, and presentations happening for the actual forum itself on the 6th of December. Um, the Some of our key stakeholders or key keynote speakers include uh, Enrico from the head the head of the Australian Space Agency, who uh, hopefully just about everyone in our um, community knows Enrico. But we're very fortunate to have a delegation from the um, UK Space Agency and also from their, their industry, um, trade industry area as well. So they'll have a reasonable sized team here visiting us and having uh, a number of their people um, exhibiting at, at the forum. So it gives this opportunity for Australian uh, space community and industry to network with the uh, UK industry uh, and network. Well, I've, I've um, got a copy of the floor plan today. You've got a, a large exhibition, been at the ICC. Uh, I don't know how you've gone with previous uh, years, but uh, you've got plenty on exhibition there as well. Yeah, we do. We do. The numbers, I think we've got about 70 plus exhibitors um, from across the globe. And so, yeah, we're super exciting. And, and the exhibitor and, and networking areas have always been, um, I think, one of the important things for the, the foundation to help help our, our community talk to each other, plus also integrate with the international community because we do have a, a good number of internationals turn up from time to time. Nice. And I understand we've got a NASA astronaut as well. You've got the UK uh, Space Agency, but also an astronaut. We do. We, we're very fortunate. Um, the foundation is sort of named after Andy Thomas, who was obviously, well, not obviously, he was a South Australian uh, uh, engineer that went through Adelaide University and, and in those early days had to make the decision if he wanted to get into space in a big way, he had to head over to NASA and became one of their most experienced astronauts. Um, and he married a young lady called Shannon Walker. So his wife will be coming over um, to support our forum. Uh, which is very exciting. She's had two uh, long, long stay missions to the space station, and she was probably one of the few people that actually have got to the space space station via the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. Yeah, right, and yeah. and she was also the flight engineer for the first human rated SpaceX mission to the space station as well, which is also very exciting. And 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 had a role. Her role at the space station included uh, flight engineer and also. Uh, space station commander. So we're very fortunate to have someone with that much experience attend. Um, she'll also be attending our, our gala dinner on the night before on the 5th, who will have an in conversation interview with her to, uh, I guess, get to know a little bit her, about her life and how she got to where she was. A great role model for um, for Australian uh, Australians interested in becoming an astronaut of some form. You've probably seen in the media, um, the Australian Space Agency now has someone in training um, at the European um, Astronaut Training Centre in, in Germany. And so that, that's an exciting opportunity as well. Uh, we were looking to try and get her on board, but she was in the middle of some serious training and, and couldn't, couldn't make it out um, for us. So uh, yeah, Catherine Bennell um, is, I think, she was an engineer that went over like, like Enrico went over to the to Europe and worked in the European sp um, space industry sector and came back because of the exciting activities with our space agency. Um, now you've decided to go with this, the inaugural Sp Australian Space Week, uh, so you've spread this uh, sort of a series of events over. How has this come about, and what have you got lined up there too? Uh, I think it's very important that we. we we expand just beyond the, the one day event because it, it's pretty hard to fit everything in in that one day. And 
this gives us the opportunity to also address the broader education themes that we, we do as well. So get a lot more activity with, with teachers, educators and, um, and the students. And so that was really one of the aims, but we have a number of other events during that week as well. So for example, the Japanese space agency is coming out to talk about their Kibo research module on the International Space Station. And, and I think that the aim there is to try and work out if there's future research collaborations between Australia and, and Japanese on the International Space Station. But we do have a number of uh, other education events actually start the week before on the Thursday. Yeah, noticed, yeah, yeah. Uh, November 30. Yeah, so, so there's a, a, a work a workforce, a new space workforce experience session. So again, this is targeting children um, so they can understand careers, that there'll be panels of, of um, space space experts out there that, that, that we're talking to the kids and they can ask questions of. So, so that's, I think, an important part of the foundation. The Andy Thomas Space Foundation, basically, we have two main activities. One is we run the forum, um, which is gets a lot of the industry and researchers together. But the other major element of our, our activities are the space education programs. So we run probably up to seven or eight programs um, through the year as well. But we, we use the obviously this the space week to to bring together uh, some of these communities as well. So a lot of it's around we are working with the, the New South Wales government on, on this one and that they'll be supporting and helping us with a bunch of these um, activities um, during Space Week. Uh, any part of the New South Wales government that you're working with? Uh, it's Investment New South Wales, which are Got really it. driving driving this, and we're also working with a, a key member from the uh, Department of Education as well. So, so we'll, yeah, we'll be having a, a program upstairs where the, the, the young kids we'll be doing a bunch of um, space education activities and we'll give a number of them the opportunity to come down and walk through and speak to a bunch of the exhibitors as well. So we're, we're tying things closely together. Great. Well, do you have any uh, other call to action? Like I said, it's worth having a look uh, at the website here and it's a long website uh, link, so we'll have it in the show notes. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, you can just Google the 16th Australian Space Forum. But any other particular standouts or call to action here? Oh, well, well the, the other, there's probably two other exciting um, sessions which are worth raising. Uh, one of them is we're going to be doing an update session on the Artemis, the Moon to Mars program. And this is where Shannon Walker from NASA will give a high-level overview. But also um, the Space Agency will give us an update on one of their most exciting programs, which is the Lunar Rover yep. um, mission that they're funding. And, and they're, they're planning to make a big announcement at, at our event. Um, so we'll be speaking uh, to the agency about that. And we'll also be talking about some of the other um, areas. So, for example, Adley University has a, a lunar surface uh, experimentation uh, lab or facility with, with simulated lunar regolith. Um, we'll be talking about some of the, the um, planetary science about the moon as well. So that, that's going to be a very exciting session. The other big session that um, is is another a, a big big event on on the cards in 2025 is New South Wales or Sydney have, have won the opportunity to conduct the International Astronautical Congress in Sydney. Now that is huge. It, it's one of the biggest space activities in the world, and we won it in 2017 in Adelaide, and that was one of the catalysts I think that um, the government used to announce the space agency which is exciting. So we're really supporting a session on that. So helping them um, ramp, ramp up for that that uh, event in Sydney, which is going to be so exciting. Like we're looking at five, 10,000 attendees with these sort of yep. scale of functions with heads of all the space agencies. And on the back of Milan too. So Sydney's going to uh, have to polish it up and uh, and make it look good for sure. Exactly. And, and, and part of the um, IAC 25 session, we, we do have... Um, a member from the Milan team having a chat to us about how they're building up and, and getting ready as well. So Wonderful. good good, good cooperation there, international and an Italian member <laughs> presenting for us. Uh, and you mentioned uh, there's a National Space Workforce event as well. 
And there's also the Andy Thomas Space Foundation Sydney Observatory experience on the 4th. So uh, for for the audience in Sydney uh, and in New South Wales, there's plenty of opportunities to get involved. Uh, and for those that are visiting uh, the ICC Sydney, then it's a good excuse to come early, I suppose, uh, and spend a good week uh, and uh, in and around Sydney at these events. Oh, exactly. Well, we've got other events, including education mixes, hopefully sort of trying to get the... Um... Uh, an environment where we can get all, all educators for space together. I think that one's happening on the 4th, on Monday as well, at the Powerhouse Museum. So we've got a whole lot of activities. But, yeah, if you can go to the website, you'll get a lot more details for each each one of these events which are happening during that week. Um, I'm just wondering if there's any other... It's just going to be so much for the day. It's going to be cram-packed cram -packed we'll today. We've got the... Apparently, no, they've got the... Um, the Australian uh, UK ambassador coming along as well, which is Wonderful. exciting. So, well, look, um, uh, we'll, we'll have the links in the show notes uh, and we'll keep the audience wanting some more to find out information. Uh, but it is annythomas.foundation forward slash first dash Australian dash space dash week. Uh, but we'll have that <laughs> link in the show notes uh, and it's well worth going to have a look. And otherwise, we'll see you in Sydney. We'll be at booth number four uh, on the showroom floor. But Peter Nikoloff, Acting Executive Director with the Andy Thomas Space Foundation, thank you very much for joining us today on Australia in Space TV. Thanks, Chris, and look forward to catching up with you face-to-face -face at the forum. Wonderful. Thanks, Peter. See ya.